10,000 Toyota, and it was uh, 64,000 Lexus. But uh, this was 14,000 units less than the previous year. So our sales dropped uh, at the total level from uh, 14 to 15. So you say, well, wh why has why this happened? Because overall, if we add all our territories together, the market actually grew by 3% uh, last year. It, uh, it finished uh, just, sure, just shy of 19 million for 2015. Um, but what happened, once you look beneath the surface, west, east, was some very, very different dynamics, of course. In the west, we saw the market grow by 10%, uh, so recovery. Faster than expected recovery in many many Western markets, but uh, obviously a, a very sharp contraction in the Eastern markets. We lost 37% uh, of the market contracted in the. You, you refer mainly by Russia, I suppose. Dominated by Russia, but we have Kazakhstan, Ukraine, uh, Caucasus in, in this uh, grouping as well. Uh, so we, and if you think about Toyota particularly, we tend to be stronger in the Eastern markets than in the Western markets stronger in so much as our market share. So we tend to have closer to double digit shares in the East and closer to sort of 5% shares in the West. So when the Eastern market drops by that magnitude, uh, it, it sort of disproportionately hurt, hurts us and we struggle to recover in the West. But I, I'll just give you one number to show how hard we battled and how, how uh, pleased we are with what we did achieve because we lost, I think, 82,000 units uh, in the East last year and we managed to offset 68,000 of that in the West. So when I say natural recovery, yes, there was, there was definitely a lot of uh, economic uh, indicators, macroeconomics being stronger than we expected, so some recovery. But of course, all the manufacturers were desperately trying to push a bit in the West to, to offset what was going on in the East. So uh, overall, uh, I think at the start of the year, I wasn't in my position then, but at the start of the year, if you'd have said you're going to lose 82,000 of these, how much can you offset in the West? I would have been extremely happy to think that we could get to something like 68,000. So it was a, a, a heroic uh, effort. So th this was the positive. This was the success, I think, overall of, of, uh, of the year. Uh, the, da the disappointment uh, for me was I think we were a little bit slow to realize how strong the market was going to be. Um, in fact, we probably underestimated by three quarters of a million the sort of size of the market. We were planning more like 18, you know, 18.2 whatever million at the start of the year and it ended up being only 19 million. So it felt like we were always a little bit one step behind. Every, every month the market was stronger than we thought. We adjusted, but by definition we're, we're sort of one step You've behind. You've been too optimistic. Yeah, well, well and, and as a result, we're too pessimistic on the market. And as a result, we, we, we lost share. Mm -hmm. So I think we come out of uh, 15 uh, into 16 with some good momentum and some new products coming this year, which will mean for sure we can grow uh, ahead of uh, last year's numbers. But with a determination that we should be more vigilant and maybe a little bit braver in uh, estimating the, the market so that we're not one step behind, we're maybe one step ahead. Um, so we don't underestimate recovery, particularly in the Western markets. So we have set, uh, just to give you the number 16, we, we have set the market uh, expectation for 2016 at 19.2. So we see overall this year uh, a little bit of growth, just, just around 1, maybe 2% um, at a total level. But again, those same dynamics where we see probably 3% growth or so in the West. This figure is regarding all these Eastern markets included. Yes, mm -hmm. the, the correct. European this is our bigger because picture. So according to some other manufacturers, yeah. uh, they are not putting all of them. So that's the reason sure. that your figure is very big. Yeah. 